Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're working on an OutDrive Merc Cruiser specifically, and in the event that you're having trouble removing the bearing carrier retainer, there are specific drill points on that actual retainer that will help collapse it the right way. All right, DIYers, here we are on the computer, and as you can see, this is the back portion of the lower unit, basically where the prop shaft comes out of the lower unit, and there's the prop shaft splines, and that is what your propeller slides into. And I want to talk about this specific page of the service manual and what it has to offer or share during your rebuild project. As you can see, number five, straighten tabs on bearing carrier tab washer, and in our case, we just have one that's facing outward toward the prop. The other couple tabs are facing inward toward the inner gears. So once you see that, grab a screwdriver or pliers and carefully bend that down and ship that out of the rotation area of this retainer nut. And down here, A, tab on tab washer, as you can see, there it is in our case. Number six, remove bearing carrier retainer following step A or B as follows. And this tool right here is a tool designed specifically for removing your retainer nut. And down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, we will post a link on where to purchase this. However, a lot of boat owners are running into this tool not really working, mainly because the lower unit is very corroded or has sat for many years without any use and has gathered a lot of internal corrosion and rust and this retainer nut is completely corroded and seized in place making it impossible for this tool to remove it and that is why they give you specific drill points on your actual retainer nut and up top do not drill into gear housing retainer threads if using following procedure for removing retainer in addition if retainer is corroded in place which we just talked about it's very possible and that is why they came up with this procedure and design with the retainer nut they recommend to drill four holes in retainer and fracture retainer with a chisel and pry out remaining segments. And as you can see here, an image of a retainer nut. And if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 drill points. And they basically give you the four that work the best. And it's also important to know not all retainer nuts have 11 drill points and not all of them will be perfectly set up in this manner. So with that said, let's go to the actual lower unit in our project. And I want to show you our retainer nut and talk more about it. All right, DIYers is at the Craftsman Workstation now. This is a six foot Craftsman Workbench. Down below in the comment section as well as the description section are video links on how to assemble this, add the drawers, as well as install a vise, the Yoast brand. We love it. And we've got a lot going on right now. We are rebuilding the entire outdrive unit. As you can see, we'll talk about the lower unit here shortly. We've got an awesome stand and that does not allow the lower skag to touch the ground as you can see here. In addition, the upper unit stand is perfect when it is both apart and connected as a whole, both upper and lower. And the upper unit is complete. It is all rebuilt, pressure tested, and ready to go. And scrolling above right now is a link to a video showing the beginning stages or process and steps of rebuilding this upper unit. Definitely check that out. We will also post down below in the comment section as well as the description section links to these stands, both lower stand as shown here and that upper stand. However, continuing on, Coming to the back side of the engine, let me grab my little Browning Buckmark light here, turn that on. I will carefully remove the thrust washer. I'll set that aside. And as we just talked about on the computer, you have specific drill points that have been set by the manufacturer. And coming down below, you can see what I'll do is I'll start right here. You've got one, two, three, four, five up here six and seven and what i would do is come down here and drill maybe here and here or this point and that point and then come up top and possibly do this point right here and again that is in the event that your crown or retainer nut is seized in place and this tool right here is not able to loosen it what i'll do is this slides on the actual propeller shaft be very careful and it aligns itself inside the bearing carrier and retainer nut and let me get the light up here and i'll push that in just like that. And I can hook a ratchet and socket up to it and turn it counterclockwise to loosen that crown or retainer nut. However, in the event that you try this and that does not do the job, it may be time to drill. And hopefully it does not get to that point. However, in the event that it does, again, we definitely recommend drilling in the manufacturer's recommended drilling points as we've shown. And as you do that, it is extremely important not to damage the thread on the actual inner portion right here on your lower unit. That would not be good. And in the event that you do not feel comfortable drilling and you are not using that part yet, as you see here, you may just be using a flathead screwdriver and pounding it at a hammer at certain points of these teeth along the crown or retainer nut. Well, it may be time to purchase this. 
We will also post a link down below in the comment section as well as the description section on the part number and where to purchase it. And with that said, again, we are rebuilding this entire lower unit. We are going to spray this retainer nut with PB Blaster, allow it to sit overnight, and then we are going to begin the removal process of the entire bearing carrier inside, which includes that outer retainer nut as we're talking about that locks it in place. So again, we just wanted to show you a quick video on what the manufacturer recommends in the event that you have to drill out that crown or retainer nut. And what we will do, we will post a link scrolling above right now. We'll pick up right where we left off. If you're interested or curious and want to follow us during the lower unit rebuild, definitely check that out. From here, do us a favor, below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you at the next video.